but then I mean, life continues, right? Yeah. All right. So just beside me here, I have a very powerful man, Mr. Godfrey. You need to know more about him. He's loaded. When I say loaded, he's loaded, full of revelation, full of the power of the Holy Spirit. And so, um, I mean, let, let me allow him to talk, right? Okay. You're welcome, sir. Thank you, man. It's a pleasure having me here on this platform. And it's my sincere prayer that uh, this platform will grow to the better glory of God and will reach far beyond the seashores of Nigeria in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, my name is Godfrey. Thanks for having me, man. All right. So, um, can you introduce yourself? Can you tell us more about yourself? Oh, my name is Godfrey, as Elia said. Uh, I'm a young man. <laughs> a young man. I'm, uh, I'm from Kogi State. I'm an Igala by tribe. Um, I'm a preacher of the gospel and a businessman. Wow. Uh, so you, the fact that you you are doing um you are doing the work of God does not stop you from from doing business. No, at all. Okay. At all. It doesn't stop my doing business because um, I have to. That is the way I have to uh, earn my own living too. My doing the work of God is as a result of the call and the passion I have for lives not to be wasted. Wow. Just like that. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Um. There's something I like to do. I'm going to sing something and you're going to pat me. <laughs> so we're going to know whether you can you can sing. <laughs> alright. But go. this is not a competition, it's just it's just alright, let's go. It's okay. Alright. Oh, I'm just gonna sing her. What a mighty God you are. What, what a mighty God, God you are. are. And and I'm I'm <laughs> yes, I hope you are really, really enjoying yourself out there. I hope you are having fun already. Once again, this is Living in Glory. Alright, so there is this particular topic, this issue that, um, in fact, one of my pastors in Lagos called me some days ago and she said, please, my sister, can you can you do something on this? Because even before she said it, I've, that's been a big issue in my mind. And it's, it's about the family. Mm. But we all know that family is the very, very important part in this environment. And we know that everybody comes from a family. Even these um, um, Ayat killers, um, Shekau, mm. you know, these suicide bombers, they all came from one family. Mm. We know that somebody like uh, Baba Deboye, Bill Gates, um, Bill Winston, if you know, um, um, Catherine Coleman, all this path, they all came from one family. And so, I want to narrow it down to this, to this aspect. The relationship between brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, yeah. yeah, I know I know you're thinking of something else. Like I want to say <laughs> husband and wife. No, no, no. no. no okay. Right now, it is about brothers and sisters. Or brothers and brothers. I mean siblings. Mm -hmm. And so the thing is, a lot of... I've seen a lot of little children, little kids, when they are playing, when they see their brothers, you know, carrying, using a paper the toy mm -hmm. or using the paper the toy to make a gun. Mm -hmm. That's what they want to do too. Mm -hmm. When they see their brothers abusing someone or they, they want to do, they want to do that. Sure. Or when they, they when, when they see their brothers lying, still, they want to do the same thing. Sure. So what advice can you please tell our, ch our little children, our, our young ones, hmm. how to conduct themselves, to let them know that the younger ones are looking, they are looking, in fact, they are mentors. They, they don't need to grow old, right, mm -hmm. to become a mentor. Even mm -hmm. as young as they are, people are looking mm -hmm. and they want to be like them. So please, what is your thought about this and what advice can you give? Thank you very much. It's a good question. Yes, sir. And um, for me to answer this question, I want to start from a particular point. You know, family, as we say, is the bedrock to the society. Exactly. Every good society and a perfect society we have today will have them if we have a good family. Yes. Every good, for we to have a good community, a good country, a good state, a good Nigeria of our own, we need our families to be better. Exactly. That, if you see, look at, take a look at this COVID-19 um, uh, stuff 
and uh, the, what is happening. You see, see that in we are still stay in some part of the northern country, uh, northern part of the country today. You see, see that children are some children are still roaming about, running about because of parental care, lack of parental care. Mm. Yesterday, I was wow. privileged to be talking to some persons about parental care. Mm. I was telling them, well, I saw some youth, small children, younger, much much younger than I do, smoking, buying cigarettes, smoking in the name of they are not grown, they are not courtists. They are now this, and I was wondering, what does stand to gain? Sorry, I picked the point that he mentioned something. He said lack of parental care. Yeah. Wow. Please. Mm. So, um, this question is a very good one. So, I want to start by answering this your question by saying, from the book of Genesis, uh, Ephesians, sorry, chapter six, from verse one, when you read carefully, Saint Paul was admonishing home, every home, every family. Fathers, uh, he started by saying, Father, in, in verse 4 precisely, he said, Fathers, do not provoke your children to a rot. When, when you read from verse 1, you will discover that he, he started by telling the children that, Children, honor your father and your mother that it might be well with you. And fathers, like that, like that to servants. Now, I have gone to understand that when a child is still young, you can, you can still teach and initiate and impact a good societal ideology, a good Christian value and a good Christian virtue upon that okay, time. Okay, I'm sorry, to, I want to come in now. You said a good Christian value. virtue, mm. value. Yeah. And so, I mean, please, what exactly do you mean by it? Hmm. You see, most of the children that I, that when I look at them today, some children suffer because of what they see. Children learn faster from what they see, what they hear. Mm. If you can control these two things and control their movement as a child. Now, a child that sees his father beating the mother all the time grows to have one kind of character in, in, in that child. Have one kind of deformation. He, begin to, he or she begins to have a kind of lifestyle that maybe when he grows, he takes up after the father or hates men or she dislikes men. Wow. Yes. It's like this topic cannot be covered today because this, what you just mentioned now, if we say we should, we should talk about it over and over, I mean, mm. it's, it's going to take a lot of time. But can you give us practical examples of what you are trying to talk about? Okay, fine. Yes. Practical example like me, I grew up from a home when my dad, my mom, by the grace of God, when we were young, they made sure we go to church. They always made sure we go to church. And we grew like that in that love, knowing that Jesus is love. Even when things became bad, we started feeling for ourselves, feeling for ourselves as young as we are. We were, there was a lot of crisis all around, but we still held on to the cross. But thank God, God has brought us this far. Mm. Thank God we are here and you are watching us live today. Mm -hmm. It's a privilege. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if parents can nurture their children, control what they see, and let them grow in the love of God. When they wake up in the morning, let them pray, put the children together. Everybody pray. The children will grow in that kind wonderful, of knowledge. Wonderful, so. wonderful. Thank you so much. Let, you. let me let me just try to, to take away that is straight for me. That I mean, let's say what I can say, I can have gotten from what he said now is what the children hear mm. and what they see. What they see. And like like he said, mm. if I want to, to understand yeah. well, mm. he mentioned that when we are going to church. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yes. We going should to carry, them, carry along. them along. We shouldn't them. say yes. We shouldn't say that because okay, we just want to go to church. Yeah, you got mm. still play at home or mm. play with the neighbors. No, no, no. They should go with us. To, even if it is night video, go. they should go with us. Okay. So even there, they will still see one of the. Oh, this is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay. The thing is, sir, I I pray that I hope that one of these days we can call you back again. No problem. I'm tell us. To, 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 to discuss, to share a lot of this wisdom, mm -hmm. this wisdom, and so I hope you've been able to get something from what uh, um, um, our man of God has said here about you know relationship in the house within the family, which starts from the parents, like he said, and so what the children see affects the relationship between and among. The fam wow, that is very, very powerful. I'm so, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very we are, much. We are glad to have you. Thank you. Um, and before you leave, can you 
say a word of prayer for the families that well, maybe parents that are that have children that are being that are problematic mm -hmm. and they, they wish the Lord can change and touch their children. Please, mm -hmm. are you praying? In Jesus' name, Amen. Father, King of Glory, thank you for this privilege to pray for families that are suffering from the disobedience of their children or suffering as an evil invasion of their family. This afternoon, we pray that the Prince of Peace will reign in every family that is suffering these problems in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we also take authority over every hold of darkness that has invaded every home that has come to cause crisis in that home. Today, that problem is settled forever Amen. in Jesus' mighty Amen. name. And I pray for every home that is watching me right now at the sound of my voice that is scattered, Father and Mother Lord united, in the name of Jesus, I pray for their unity. Amen. In Jesus' mighty Amen. name we pray. Amen.